In the first tournament where Champion's Path cards were legal, this Altaria Dolisopod Aerodactyl deck from Richard Yano finished in fourth place. Using Altaria's ability, Miraculous Charm, you can prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V and Pokemon GX. Unlike the Decidueye deck, which has the same ability and is good because Decidueye has a good attack, but bad because Decidueye is a stage 2, this Altaria deck focuses on Pokemon that can either use Twin Energy or Triple Acceleration Energy to attack. Of course, the danger with Special Energy and Standard is that once it's gone, it's gone, but if you play your cards right, haha, you can deal 180 damage with Aerodactyl four times. You gotta use your Triple Acceleration Energies perfectly, but Fossil Fangs does 180 if you don't have a GX on your bench, and because Crobat V is not a GX, you can have a draw Pokemon, but you can't play to Denny. So if you do things right, you can Aerodactyl four times and then clean up something with Delisopod maybe at the end of the game with Hard Time Slash. That has 30 base damage and does 50 more for each of your opponent's Pokemon V and Pokemon GX in play. So the strategy is kind of to use Aerodactyl and Delisopod at the beginning of the game and then surprise them at the end with Altaria and try to wall with that. The unfortunate thing with Altaria is that Speed Dive only does 60 damage, so it's kind of weak, so you do have to rely on Aerodactyl and Delisopod, or you can just put your Altaria down and hope that your opponent concedes. Personally, I think both the Altaria and Decidueye decks are good in the right circumstances, and kind of horrible in others, because the whole gimmick is that you're immune to V and GX Pokemon's attacks. And most of the top decks rely on V and GX Pokemon to attack, but for the ones that don't, you're gonna have a bad time. So let's hope I don't face any non-GX, non-V decks because that would just be horrible. Let's get started. I won the coin flip. I will choose to go first in this game and then I'll probably try and go second in one of the follow-up games. Uh, well, this is a pretty great starting hand. This is, this is why you go first. It's with Pokemon Research Lab. You can just put two Aerodactyl into play on your first turn of the game and that's amazing. Okay, so I'll put the Jirachi, I'll probably save the Zigzagoon, that's really there just to help with math a little bit. And there's a Heatran, this is really good. This is a great start. And yeah, I'll Stellar Wish, hopefully I get, well, research isn't great. But I mean, if they, if they let me keep this hand, that's not too bad. Because I'll just scoop up, I'll do some scoop up switch shenanigans. They might use their GX, that would be pretty weird if they do, but you're seeing it right now. The Zigzagoon helps with math. Aerodactyl does 180 damage, Heatran has 190, so if I put the Zigzagoon down, I put it within range. So that's what I might do. Uh, would there be a reason to not do that is the question. I don't think so, because there's no way they can heal the Heatran. They could put the, the energy on it, the heat energy that boosts its HP by 20. In that case, I could paint them three times. Oh, oh, so it's it's the Aurora Welder deck. Okay, so there's going to be some there's going to be some things in this deck that are a little uh, unorthodox, but the deck is really good. Yeah, like Rhyperior in a Welder deck. I think there's two of that. You're going to see a whole slew of of Pokemon that are just here to help different matchups, and this deck is actually really good at one a tournament. And I haven't built it yet, but I will. And then I'll probably make a video on it just because any deck that can utilize Welder and Aurora Energy and just go crazy is going to be really good. But if they're... Oh, please please tell me you're going to waste your GX on a, on a Jirachi and then I just surprise you. And there's a Dedenny. So as soon as I get rid of that Volcanion, I win. Unless Because I don't think they play four Volcanion, do they? If they play four Volcanion, then I'm kind of in trouble. But... As long as they have all that, because that's weak to grass, so I have a really good matchup against this deck. Especially if they use Hot Burn. But let's see, okay, so throw a discard an energy. There's Torkoal. Discard the top card of your deck. So a big parasol. I think I put the parasol on Swablu. Somebody's getting the parasol, that's for sure. There's an evolution instance, that's amazing. Okay, so I ping the Heatran. I go get an Altaria. I would like to have the Parasol on a Delisopod, but that's not going to happen. Okay, so I'll just get the Altaria. I'll have it. No big deal. Put the Parasol on it just in case they have something that I don't want them to have. And then I will... Yeah, sure, let's... Stellar Wish, there's a fossil. I'll probably just put that down and get rid of it. 
Okay, so I get the Jirachi, put the Zigzagoon up front, do that, do that. All right, so there's just the research lab. Perfect. I don't want the research lab, so I can just get rid of that right now. And yeah, I think I'll probably end up discarding the unidentified fossil, but may as well put it into play, right? Okay, triple acceleration energy. Please show up. That's a no, but I, oh man, I, I can put Crobat down, but that's not really a good option either. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to draw like, what, two cards? Is it even worth it? I have boss. I don't even think it's worth it, to be honest, to... Because I'd be ditching one card, I'd have, I'd draw three cards, but I don't think it's worth it. So I put myself in a position where I have one fossil left. I'm losing an Aerodactyl, that's bad, but I have two bosses in my hand. I can bosses somebody up. Uh, yeah, th this was tough. If I just gotten a triple acceleration energy, I pretty much guarantee a win. But that's the problem with special energy decks. You only play four of each. You can't search for it unless you play Doozma and Hala, and I don't play Doozma and Hala. All right, so they didn't do a whole lot their turn. They just used Steaming Stomp, and now I have a decision. Because I will probably want to bosses something like the Torkoal. You know, I'm just going to I'm gonna sit back. You know, I have a pretty good hand. There's the Lysopod. That is, that's unfortunate. Because I, I would have put the Lysopod up front if I knew I had it. Um, so what's my Aerodactyl count? I, yeah, I guess I just see what I get off the Stellar Wish. It's a Marnie. That's not quite what I want. But worst case scenario, I just use Pokemon Research Lab and put an Aerodactyl into play. Best case scenario, I knock out this freaking Heatran. And I don't. Okay, so the way this is going to work is that I'm going to lose... So I'm going to put an Aerodactyl into play, and then I have to hope that this Delisopod survives, because I can knock out anything. Anything on their side of the field is about to get knocked out. And it will probably be the Torkoal, maybe the Rhyperior. I mean, if they attach energy to one of them, then that'll make my life a lot easier. But I have the bosses. That's good. Losing this Jirachi hurts. I would have... If I could, could have just grabbed a Stoop Up Net, or a Switch, I pretty much... Again, I guarantee the win. You know, this deck has a good matchup against V and GX decks, but if you don't draw into what you need, then it's just useless. You know, Altaria is just sitting there. The Volcanian is waiting for me. You know, if I can get rid of the Volcanian, that would be good, but I don't know how many Volcanian they're playing. You know, if they're playing four Volcanian, then Altaria is completely useless in this matchup. If they play the one Volcanian, then it's fine. I can just use... I have three scoop up net left. Okay. So my options here are not great. Man, what do I do? This this is really tough because I don't know what I'm getting off the prizes. If I knew what I was getting off the prizes, this would make my life so much easier. But I think attaching the energy is for sure. Do I just knock out the Heatran because their energy... They're not doing a lot on the energy side of things. And if they can't get energy on that thing. I think that's the safe bet. I think that's the safe bet. Because if they can't find two energy, they can't knock me out with Volcanion. There's a triple, that's perfect, and there's a switch. So they still need to find two more energy. If they can't put two energy into play, then they can't knock out Delisopod. Hopefully they whiff a welder. Well, there's a welder, so they just need to welder one and then get, you know, an attachment off the other one. Uh, they'll probably go for another Crobat if they have it. There's my loader. Yeah, like I said, this deck plays a ton of stuff to help with different matchups. Please tell me they whiffed it. But even if they even if they only have one energy in their hand, they still get to draw three more cards. So the odds of them not getting Hearth, not getting an energy is very low. But you've seen how bad my start has been. Maybe theirs is equally bad. And the fun thing is, they knock out the Glycopod. I put up Aerodactyl. I boss as a Crobat. I knock it out. And then I'm one knockout away from winning. Oh, well, uh, they didn't get it. 
So I think I just win because there's no, they can't welder this turn. There's nothing they can do. That's probably going to be a concede. They put up a two prizer. I don't see any way they come back from this because again, I'm just one knockout away from winning. Even if they use Torkoal, I don't really care. Uh, I think, okay, well that's unfortunate, but I think I should probably, if I get a bosses, I should knock out the Torkoal. Okay, there's Scoop Up Net. Uh, rally back, does that help me? That doesn't really help me at all. I think attaching to the Aerodactyl makes sense because it increases my chances of just having it. So I think that's what I do is I hard time slash the Rhyperior and then that way I'm a bosses and energy away from just knocking out a Crobat and winning. All my, so all my energy was prized or at the bottom of my deck. Okay, so as long as they don't Marnie me or reset stamp me, I win. As long as my hand goes untouched and they had more than one Volcanion. Okay, so not going... My decision to not just go Altaria, Altaria, and hope after I knock out the first Volcanion, that was very smart. But again, if they don't have a reset stamp, then I win. So you're seeing how this deck operates. This deck is good in situations like this, but I'm guessing I'll queue up against like a single prize deck and you'll see where it's bad. All right, so there we go. And I'll, I'll double attach twin energy, why not? And of course I just top deck it. Alrighty, and that is a game one win for the Altaria Golisopod Kangaskhan Aerodactyl deck. It's another coin flip win. I said I'd go second, so let's go second. And Jirachi start identified fossil. So if I can get a Pokemon Research Lab off of this Jirachi, then I'm in a great position. If I get something like Professor's Research, I'm in a bad position. And this is Eternatus. Unfortunately, it's the Eternatus build playing Toxicroak. So how many Toxicroak are they playing is the question. I played against this deck earlier with Altaria, and I just did not draw cards at all. And the thing with the Toxicroak deck is that it gets through Altaria because Galarian Slowbro's ability poisons you, and then Toxicroak builds up the poison, so that's really bad. But if they don't play a 4-4 Toxicroak, the, the deck I played earlier, that had a 4-4 Toxicroak and it just went nuts. But if they don't got it like that, then I'm in a great position. What do they think they're facing? Oh, they're just going to get a Crobat. Okay. While they're doing that, uh, after the last match, I got some packs from the ladder and I decided to open them. My, I, I think I opened nine total packs. Uh, I got Charizard V, Senti Scorch VMAX, a Secret Rare Big Parasol, a Galarian Mr. Rhyme, and a Full Art Rhyperior V from nine packs. If I had that good of luck in my XY openings, oh, that's really good. If I had that good of luck normally, then that would be great, but unfortunately I don't. Okay. There's Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, so this is really good. The unfortunate thing is, is I do not have a supporter. So, and I have two Aerodactyl in my hand. So hopefully I didn't, oh, I prized one. Okay, that's the unfortunate thing. You know, sometimes you might want to play Poketom or maybe an Orangaroo in this deck. Unfortunately, the deck does not play it. You're just sort of relying on your draws and stuff, but I can knock out a Crobat V. I have bosses, I have triple, can evolve, so I do have some things I can do, it's just not what I want to be doing. Because if I knock out a Crobat V, I'm lessening the power of my Delisopod, and because I'm not playing a deck with a ton of HP, then they don't need to fill up their bench and do crazy things. Oh, okay, so that's what I did, they had Dark City. But, you know, this, I think this is a good time to talk about Altaria's other options. And you can use things like Greedent and Behem, which attack and then either put themselves back in the deck or into your hand. And then you put the Altaria up front to sort of wall for you. Or you could just go with something like ADP Altaria and do 90 damage turn after turn with Altaria and hope it's enough. You know, there's definitely a few other options with Altaria, but at the end of the day, the whole purpose is to just cheese some wins against V and GX decks. And, oh, come on. They, there was nothing you could have gained from using that reset stamp except drawing an extra card. And look at this. This is just sad. 
I had I had all these good cards coming up. You know, four out of these six cards would have saved me. And there's the crow gunk. Please tell me it's just the one that you have. Okay, so what do I do? I think so I'm doing I think I will go with the Wimpod, because I have a guaranteed Glycopod. I think that's the safe bet. There's Swablu. Let's get Glycopod. Just have the one. Okay. And then we're in the the conundrum. I can't I can't research all of my stuff, can I? But I have to. Oh man. Uh, I think I have to Crobat. I think I have to yeah, I think I have to Crobat right now. Because you know, if I never find a research lab, at the very least it's a free pivot Pokemon, and that's awesome. Okay. And so I know I have the one uh, Aerodactyl, so I know I have some... I didn't even notice that I have three research in my hand. So my options here are I put three research on the bottom of my deck, or I put two research and a Marnie in the discard pile. Those are not good options here. Oh, come on, Marnie. Bail me out of this. Bail me out of this, Marnie. That is... I mean, that's fine with me. That, that is totally fine. I will accept that. 230 damage, easy 230 with the Lysopod. Maybe I slowed them down. If not, I can rearrange my deck with Quick Ball. I can Eldegoss for the Marnie. You know, I, I don't want to bench Eldegoss in this matchup ever, but I guess I will if I have to. And there's the Toxicroak. So that one, put two more damage counters on your opponent's poison Pokemon during Pokemon checkup. That's just the between turns thing. And if they have four Toxicroak in play, that's bad. But looking at this list, I don't think they play a 4-4 line. I think it might be something a little bit less than that. Oh, and they play Turbo Patch. Okay, there, there's no way they have room for 4-4 four, four. freaking Toxicroak. Is there? If they play Turbo Patch and all this stuff. So I can easily win. I just have to take a knockout this turn and then knock that out and I should be fine. What's my energy? So I have a... Okay, well, let's see what happens. Top track a triple. That's a twin. That is not great. Okay. Um, oh, I oh I screwed up. Okay, so I should have put an unidentified fossil up front and then had the Kangaskhan. Okay, so what do I do now? Because I can knock that out with Kangaskhan. I have the guaranteed here. I think I do that, do that. Get rid of Swablu. Get rid of something I don't need, like... Well, I might need the Zigzagoon. I might need the... The Fion. Well, how many bosses do I have? I have three bosses, three Marnie, three Research. I think I just get rid of... Let's get rid of the Jirachi. Okay. All right. I will... Actually, I probably should have checked. How many Fossil do I have? I have one Fossil somewhere. So I think it's worth it to get rid of both Fossil and then get a Wimpod, even though I know it's prized. So I still have one Fossil. I think it's worth getting the Wimpod. I know I have a Glycopod prize, but you gotta believe in the Heart of the Cards sometimes. Okay, Marnie. Heart of the Cards. Give me a Scoop Up Net or a Switch. There, There's both. And I actually want to keep the Dark City in play. So I'll rally back, keep the knockout, and Dark City, I want to keep that in play because it gives basic Dark Pokemon no retreat. Crobat V is a basic Dark Pokemon. And there's Glycopod. I believed in the heart of the cards and I was rewarded. And, oh, I actually, I completely forgot about Kangaskhan. You know, it, it's the only thing that can really attack on turn one. I mean, you can use Peck for 20 or rally back for 30 on turn one. Uh, you can't use float up, can't use anything else. Okay, so I think I can win. I just need to find the bosses and then I win. Because I put the glycopod down, twin energy, I hit into it and then I'm just an Aerodactyl away from winning. Okay. 
So some things do need to go right here for me, but I think I can win this. I just need to find the right cards. So there we go. I'll probably look for that other Altaria with my Evolution Incense. Okay, another Altaria, yes. I have a Fossil and an Aerodactyl left in the deck, that's perfect. I can... I can't scoop up at anybody, I think. I have a research lab. I'm just trying to think, is it worth bumping the stadium right now? They could play Black Market. You know, is Dark City better for me or worse for them? Yeah, I think getting rid of Dark City actually makes sense here. And then, yeah, I'll just research. So there's the triple. I don't have what I need for next turn. As long as this prevent all effects of attacks, but that's that's not gonna it's just gonna stop poison so I guess I guess that makes sense to put it there because if they decide to start attacking with crowbat that would poison me because crowbat does 70 and it poisons so big parasol stops the poison so that's why big parasol is in the deck because it's a secondary effect so Altaria's ability stops the damage big parasol stops the poison and I'm just in a position now where all I really have oh there's the slow row. There's he turn. Okay, so yeah, they they know that I don't have any more Glycopod. You know, in situations like these, you wish you played, you know, three Aerodactyl and three Glycopod instead of two Glycopod and three Aerodactyl, or at least an ordinary rod. But I mean, the biggest thing this deck wants is a freaking Ditto Prism Star that had to rotate. You know, it it was it was such a good card. It it couldn't really do a whole bunch of things. In certain, you know, when certain sets came out, it was just obsolete, and then it would come back. I wish they would reprint it. Reprint Ditto Prism Star. Evolution decks need it. So what I think I should do here is just put the Altaria up front. So there's Dread and 270. I think, oh, they're just a bosses away from winning. And that's the unfortunate thing about putting these things down. So I don't really have anything I can do. Um, how many... I haven't used a single triple acceleration energy yet. Okay. 18 cards left in deck. I can rearrange my deck. I think... I can switch into it. But that doesn't seem... Great. Let's just do 60 damage, sure. Okay, so if they don't have a bosses, they can't win, that's unfortunate. Okay, where, where the where are my freaking bosses orders? Uh yeah, let's do 60 damage. An underwhelming 60. So the Eternatus matchup. Oh, and they have the bosses. Okay, that's unfortunate. But you're just seeing this deck can be, oh, I mean, you either have the bosses or you don't. What, what's the, what are you, what are you doing? I'm confused. What, why would you waste the time doing all that? That, that's just the BM right there. Let's go for the bosses and the dread end. Don't waste the time getting rid of the big parasol and attaching the energy. So... You know, you're playing against the matchup that should be a guaranteed win, but because you don't play enough Glycopod, you just can't do it. The deck struggles with drawing cards because you can't play it to Denny GX. So you saw the good with the deck in the first game, you saw the bad with the deck in the second game. Hopefully we go back to the good in game three. And it's the third coin flip win, so I'll choose to go first because I went first, second, first, and first went really well for me, so... Jirachi, and then I think I just have to hope for Pokemon Research Lab. Do I try and help myself out by thinning my deck, or do I just believe in the deck? Okay, there's a fossil. That's good. So I'll just go grab Altaria. Let's see if they concede when they see the Altaria. And how many Research Lab? I have three Research Lab. Let's just go get Altaria. See if they concede. And I will put the... You know what? I, I have two chances to find the research lab. That's not it. Uh, yeah, let's just... Let's try it again. So I'll put the fossil down. I will... 
ditch the, oh jeez. Yeah, I'll ditch the switch. I'll go get a Swablu. I only have one. That's tough. You know, I think Altaria, Delisopod, and Aerodactyl are all going to be good in this matchup. It's just, if I can get a Pokemon Research Lab right here, that would just be completely game-changing. I, ah. Oh. Look how look how difficult it's been to find energy in these two these first two games, and then I stellar wish, and there's four energy right there. Come on, the game's just trolling me at this point. The game doesn't want me to win. You know, you're facing Mewtwo and Mew. You think, oh, everything's great. They don't play any non V or GX Pokemon. As long as they don't have a Greninja, I'm totally fine. Uh, what else could they do? That doesn't do it. I'm trying to think what other, if they're just playing a welder build, then Greninja is the only thing that can save them against Altaria. Uh, I mean, Keldeo would also do that, but why would you play Keldeo over Altaria if you're playing this version of the deck? And there's the Mewtwo and Mew. So yeah, I don't really, I don't know what they can do other than knocking out Swablu right now. If they can knock out that Swablu, then their chances of winning go way up. Okay, so this is the other thing they can do. Hang on, where is it? Let's double blaze. If this has three extra energy, the damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. If I can put a big parasol on the Altaria, uh, let's see, can I get something that I just get rid of? There's the Pokemon Research Lab. Uh, I can quick ball a quick ball. I can quick ball a Pokemon Research Lab. You know, I think it makes sense to quick ball the research lab and get a Wimpod, just that way I have all my dudes laid down in front of me. I think that makes the most sense. Because as long as I don't put more than six prizes worth of Pokemon on the field, I'm totally fine. And, oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of my bosses. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so I will quick ball the bosses, go get, I'm not going to get my two prizers. I'll probably just get a Jirachi. And then switch into Jirachi. So I do have to be careful. I really, I really only can put one more bench Pokemon down. And there's a research lab. Perfect. So I can put down an Aerodactyl. Losing the boss's orders really hurts, but I do have Eldegoss for, you know, a late game bosses. It's just... This is what happens when I play decks that play bosses. You know, you get bosses in your hand and research, and you have to research. And they got they got the full art granny goodness. So this is what I want to end the game with. I just want to have these six Pokemon. If I can scoop up somebody, that's great. But they have to take six knockouts. They have to take six knockouts, and they have to eventually deal with this Altaria, and that will have to be... They'll have to put six energy on a Mewtwo and Mew to deal with Altaria. In order for them to do that, okay, if this is a switch, switch, perfect. So I can knock out the Jirachi, not that it really matters. So I knock out the Jirachi, take two prizes, um, yeah, and then I have, or I can do 180 damage to that thing and then, no, I don't know. Does it really make sense to do this? I think putting the damage on the Mewtwo and Mew makes the most sense. Because if I knock out two, three prizers, then I win. And this way I can knock it out next turn with an Aerodactyl or a Glycopod. So I think putting the damage on the Mewtwo and Mew makes the most sense because if I knock out that Jirachi, then I have to take three knockouts to win. If I knock out this Mewtwo and Mew, I just have to knock out one more Mewtwo and Mew and I win. So I'd rather take two knockouts than three knockouts. And there it is. And if they have to bench this, that's pretty good. Okay, so they're kind of abandoning the Altaria strategy. So the thing is, how many switch do I have? I'm down one scoop, I'm down four switch. Okay, so my options here, I think I have to put up the Wimpod, because the Glycopod can use the Twin Energy and the Triple Acceleration Energy. Uh, but I, I also don't think I'm gonna... 
You know what? I'll just send up the Jirachi and see what happens. There's... Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm down two bosses and I can't... Oh man, that is just the worst. Okay, well let's... There's a stoop up net. There's a Marnie. I think Marnie makes the most sense now. I can save the Eldegoss. You know, I'm not in a rush. I think the Marnie makes the most sense. There's a twin. Hey, I got it. Amazing. And if I wanted to, I could force them to bring up one of these two, but they just... They just send up a Jirachi or... Or the Dedenny. And, okay, so I don't have another Wimpod. That's unfortunate. Okay. And then I don't put that Jirachi back down. Okay, so hard time slash. And they might not be able to take the knockout because... They would need they would need a lot off of that Marnie. There's the other Wimpod, that's awesome. There's an Aerodactyl, that's awesome. And there's a triple acceleration energy, that is awesome. So I like my chances. I'll just you know this next turn's probably gonna be a nothing turn. Uh, so what can they do for two energy? They can They would need welder energy to do anything if yeah. That was a great win for Glycopod because with two horse like the energy, really the only attack they could have done is Poltergeist if they play Dangar or Mimikyu. And if they use Poltergeist, I only had one trainer in my hand, so they would have done 50 damage. I would have used Hard Time Slash to hit them for a bunch of damage, and then I pretty much just would have won the following turn. So not knocking out that Jirachi on that pivotal turn was really smart. Going after the three prizes, you know, would you rather win by taking three knockouts or two knockouts? Well, two's a much easier much easier to do, so if you can if you can shorten your path to victory when you're playing a single prize deck, do it. And just remember that when you're playing a single prize deck, your opponent has to take six knockouts to win, unless it's ADP. So make sure you count the Pokemon on your side of the field. You know, don't have more than six prizes on your side of the field or else you give your opponent the win, especially when you have Altaria. Because Let's say that let's say that my opponent got through all of my Jirachi, all of my Golisopod, all of my Aerodactyl, they have one prize left. Well, this is what would be waiting for them. The Altaria would be the final Pokemon on my side of the field. I wouldn't bench anybody else. Yes, I'm only doing 60 damage turn after turn, but with triple acceleration energy and twin energy, I can kinda do it. I can do 180 damage. It might not be the easiest thing in the world. I can do 240 maybe. Might not be the easiest thing in the world, but I can make it happen and I force them to deal with something that they can't hit. So if you're playing this deck and you're not facing off against ADP, just make sure you keep track of how many prizes are on your side of the field and try and do everything you can to hold off on using Eldegoss and Crobat, because those are two prizes. Those accelerate your opponent's win condition. So just be careful when you're playing Altaria. If you're facing Mewtwo and Mew, just have one Altaria, maybe another one, but I think one's enough. Well, actually, two would probably be smart, because if they do use that six energy Reshiram and Charizard attack, they put six energy on a Mewtwo and Mew, that's the only way they can knock out an Altaria, and then you have another one waiting for them. So I'll leave that up to you if you want to go for an attacking build, or just rely on Altaria and hope they concede like they did in my game. But what you didn't see in this video is a matchup against Mad Party. I kind of... You know, I cut it for reasons that I misplayed kind of hard. I didn't be, I wasn't aggressive when I needed to be, and I chose to go second. And that's unfortunate because this deck doesn't really have a first turn attacker. You want to get your stage one set up. You know, Kangaskhan can knock out a Sinistee. But yeah, if you're single prize versus single prize, if you're facing off against Mad Party, your chances of winning are extremely low unless they bench all of their Dedenny and all their Crobat and you get your boss's orders on pivotal turns. But all in all, Mad Party is a horrible matchup for this deck. You want to face V and GX decks, and that's it. As always, I'll leave the list in the description. If you take it for a spin, let me know if you make any changes, what changes you think you should make. If you win some crazy games, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I will see you tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll see you then.